Get back! So for the rest of this Keep it episode, six foot, homie. Keep it six We're gonna talk foot. about badass BA. What up, everybody? Shit. Welcome to Chop and Brew. I'm in the garage. Actually, we're supposed oh, to snap. Get this away from me. This is a six foot table, mm -hmm. so we're mm -hmm. we're pretty much where we need to be. I'm here with Brian Adams. What up, y'all? We're drinking some beers sent from Jim Booth, power fan out of Pennsylvania. Not only did he send us three beers of increasingly hoppy and alcoholic nature, I like that. But he sent this rad precision hydrometer set from Brady Instruments that I haven't used yet because I haven't brewed yet. Um, but it's like four hydrometers or three of varying ranges so you can really get up close and get like down to the half gravity mm -hmm. um, for both big beers, small beers, and in the middle while it's fermenting. A little test jar, a little scrub, a little brush, a little like high. Big numbers for people like me that can't see nothing anymore. Yeah, they are big numbers. I like it. For your grandpa eyes Whoa. and a lab grade thermometer. So I'm looking forward to using that, but I'm looking really forward to using it. This is good. The first beer out of the gate is from New Trail Brewing Company. It's called Broken Heels Hazy IPA. New Trail is Williamsport, Pennsylvania. That's smooth. Smooth. Gets a little hoppier at the end. Mm -hmm. Right away, it's just smooth. Goes down too easy, I think. And what's the ABV on this? This is seven. Oh my god, this is trouble. High aromatic, soft bitterness, Citra Mosaic Equinot. Ooh, Equinot. Love some Equinot. Oh, this is good. I don't know the date on this. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have a Best Buy or a package on, but it tastes pretty... This is trouble. Pretty decently fresh and young. Yeah. I feel like a lot of these beers just present like tons of tropical citrus that it's so hard to like... One will have three totally different hops, unless you're going like with one of those hops like the Sabro or the Cashmere that are really doing these like Friends. vanilla, coconut, chocolate. Yeah. A lot of them just seem like very lusciously citrusy to me. Yeah. You could drink a lot of this. And mm. I have a feeling that 7 point, 7 point one, or just 7 percent, that 7 percent will jump on your back so quick. <laughs> Man, you're going to just want some more of this and pretty soon you're going to be lit up. This write up I found not from the brewery but from like a, a local reviewer closer to the brewery. Citrus, pine flavors, uh, soft bitterness, mouthfeel comes from the oats they use. Oh. Produce a fine example of how this style should be, which I would agree. It's not sweet. It's mm. not overly like powdery. Yeah. It does have a little sweetness at, in the beginning, but yeah. it's not overly sweet. Yeah, a lot of them, I feel like a lot of the hazy IPAs are starting to finish almost like pastry IPAs. Yeah, yep. Where, and that could be lactose, it could be whatever, but. Yeah. So we're gonna try to make this video not too long so we can fit three in really quick. So we're gonna step off and chat for a minute and we'll be back. Fill me up, man. We gotta save Fill this for up. Bob. We're not gonna need, our last one's 11%, so I think we're gonna be okay. All right, we'll be all right. We're gonna be Pacing. all right. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Can you hear me? Can you feel me? We're gonna be all right. And when the hops flow, you drink it from a pint glass, you know, uh, probably get in trouble for doing that these days. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave we'll that out. We'll be good. Drink my liquor. You can smoke my blunt. You can call my lady, but don't touch my truck. You know what I'm gonna do? Have you been singing a lot of truck songs since you got your new Just truck? Just that one. Jameson found that one, so he plays that all the time. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a black cowboy hat, some cowboy boots, and some cut off jean shorts. Daisy Duke cut off jean shorts. Daisy Duke cut off jean shorts. So when I go up to the north, to the cabin, I'm gonna go in there like, I'm a red man. That's the Old Town Road. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Don't touch my truck. Beer number two is number in the two. in the great. glass. This is Trogues Brewing Company Lolly Hop Double IPA. So we've moved up to oh, 8.2 ABV. The malts is oats, rustic pale, and wheat. Hops, Azaka, Citra, Mosaic. Wow. The story is when we make our annual pilgrimage to the hop growing hotbed of Yakima Valley, we're like kids in a candy store. We eyeball the hops on the vines, crush them in our hands, rub them till all the oils fill the air. Ooh. Lolly Hop brings together three of our favorite dry hopping with citra and mosaic, layers in notes of orange, grapefruit, melon, while Azaka in the kettle adds hints of papaya and pineapple. Hmm. Locally harvested, so Pennsylvania rustic pale ale, malt. Provides the backbone and wheat and oats make this beer smooth with a touch of haze. This and this is just a touch of haze, which is kind of nice. It's yep. also, it's pretty much like see-throughable. 
like beers back in the day were. <laughs> yeah. They say we taste pear, citrus, hint of melon. Back up, back up. I think it tastes very candy like. It's interesting that they say kid and candy store. To me, it tastes like that hot candy we used to carry at Northern <laughs> oh, Brewer. Those and are delicious. Eat way too many of. This it says freshest by July 14th, so it's only a month away from its freshest, which is to say it's probably got a couple of months on it. I would assume Jim kept it cold for us. I've been keeping it cold. Double IPs to me like kind of tend to have that sweeter, that next step of sweetness, that malt sweet mm -hmm. push, but also some of these hops can be like candy like hops, especially since they're going in yeah, they dry hop. It's good. Yeah. I'm feeling it very I get kind of like a lemony mm -hmm. lime lemon zest. Oh, I can see that lime piece. I really just get a sweetness, which is to be expected in an eight point two percent yeah because it could be alcohol sweetness as well as like malt right. sweetness <laughs> but it's no, definitely yeah. like compared to the last one oh, the last one at this good. point by memory seems almost kind of like salty and hoppier oh that's got a great smell Once drier you cover it up and smell it because you got a lot of that gasoline smell in this garage there play off <laughs> <sighs> damn that, that actually smells good. like a fr like an open fresh open bag of hops like when you open like a eight ounce bag and just like just fruity too. Good job. Fruity, hoppy. Damn. Can I put this in my pillow? Just pour it on there. Yeah. Shout out to our boy Justin Williams. That's nice, Justin. Way to go, man. Trogues. Unrelated to Jim Booth, but we've got an inside man at Trogues as well. Yeah? Can we come by? Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania? Road trip? Hershey. 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 Pennsylvania. We'll get some chocolate, chocolate. and we'll get some hopped up tears. They got any barbecue in Pennsylvania? Scrapple. Scrapple? Oh, you don't know what Scrapple is? Is that a game? Scrapple is like this mystery. It's basically, from what I gather, it's like Pennsylvania's version of Spam. Oh. It's like a lot of like odd cuts wedged oh. together. And then oh. I believe they kind of like form it into a loaf and then slice it. So it becomes, almost looks like a slice of meat bread. No. I would eat it. I've I never, would try it. I've never had it. I'll but. watch you try it. But we named our dog Scrapple after this completely unrelated movie that then all we ever heard about was people telling us about what Scrapple is in Pennsylvania. And I was like, oh, okay. If it smells good, I'll eat it. So Pennsylvania fans, send us some Scrapple and we'll do Whoa. Scrapple tasting notes. Be careful what you ask for, Chip Walton. <laughs> what I'm going to be careful about asking for is beer number three. Yeah. Bam! What's that, 11%? 11% triple IPA. Woo! Let's do it! Damn. Beer number three. Boop. And it's big. It is big. We've each had a sip. It's big. <laughs> that ain't no joke. This is Fegley's Brew Works, absolutely triple IPA. Wow. They're in Allentown in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. 11.5%, 100 IBUs. Holy shit. Two hop, two row, sorry. <laughs> two, two hops only. <laughs> There's only two hops in here. Two hops. Two row, caramel, pale, hops, Apollo, which you don't hear. Don't Name know. dropped a lot. Cascade, Chinook, Simcoe. Oh, yeah. Intoxicating yeah. citrus aroma, smooth malt backbone, goes toe to toe with the finest Imperial IPAs in the world. Yes, it does. From their own description. Ooh, that is multi sweet. Oh, that aroma is delicious. It's almost like a hop wine. Yeah. It's like Ooh. a barley wine, but like oomph on the oils, oomph on the hops. You got another one of these I can take home? Nope. The other Just one? In, the other one's in here. Messed up. Sorry, bro. Sorry. And it, the can date is 0429, so like less than a month ago. Nice. Wait, no, that's bad math. That's quarantine math right there, y'all. So a month and a half ago. 0429? Yeah, we're coming up on 0629. I swear okay. it's May. Like I have said multiple times this past October. week. When we get to June, we'll do blank, and people no. are like, bro, it's, not it's about to be midway through June. <laughs> Yeah, that heat's about to start kicking your butt. All right, this is this is good though. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm glad those hops are in there to take over and over, you know, take well, over that alcohol. Cause it's cool. Shit. The triple I mean, IPAs dang. like like are anti hazy for the most part. Like I've had some that play both fields that are like hazy triple IPAs. But I like them like this because it reminds clear. me of like a hoppy golden barley wine. Oh man! And it it kind of like reminds you you're about to get in trouble. Hazy beers, you know. 
They're, they're hazy. They're cloudy about what's about to happen. But this kind of beer is like, nope. No, you're about to get wrecked. There's no head. It's got legs. And it's clear and hoppy. I didn't even have lunch. <laughs> All right. So probably shouldn't be in a huge hurry to put that one down. No. But Jim Booth coming through with the Pennsylvania Oof. suite of beers. Pennsylvania hookup. And the hydrometers. Yep. Jim, send me, send me a couple of those, man. Here's I want, a, I want some of these again. Figlies. So, for the rest of this show, it's just going to be me. Because I can just chase Chip out of here. Get back! So, for the rest of this Keep it episode, six foot, homie. Keep it we're going to talk foot. about badass BA. I ain't doing nothing. All right. Peace. Chop for chop. Brew for brew. Brew for brew! Thanks for all the goodies, Jim. Thanks for all the goodies. Breweries of Pennsylvania. That's right. Peace. Say hi to Bob. Hi, Bob. What up? <laughs> what are you doing? I touched your elbow. Don't put that rona on me. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my... What is that? <laughs> Same time. That's KY. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we're going to end that video. People will be like, I want to know these guys. They just get lit in a garage all the time. <laughs>